Hey guys, Mike here from Old Man Things. How you doing? Thought I'd smoke some Christmas cookie that I got from James Stumbo, which is a very, very nice, generous gift, and I appreciate it. It smells wonderful. And it, it um... It smells when I got it. It reminded me of what the old um, tobacco shops used to smell like. So and I've got my um, Vanen 1077 Traditional Smooth. I just love this pipe. It just it well, you, it fits in your palm so well. I'm gonna pack it and light it. So if you guys wanna grab a pipe. And have a puff with me? Go ahead. I'm going to do a Wednesday night rabbit. But it's a cheat because I know what I'm going to talk about. So, um, But I didn't know what I was going to talk about until today. We are in the middle of a snowstorm. A terrible snowstorm. I think it's covering a lot of America. Northern part, anyhow. Woke up to about maybe four inches of snow. Supposed to get another foot tonight. It's another great revealing. blowing we got like 40 mile an hour wind gusts right now so of course it's blowing just terrible so I'm having a cup of tea so the other day when all the sales were going on for um, the International Pipe Smoking Day. I ordered some of my um, tobacco to make my old Toby. I only have maybe two ounces left. So I ordered a pound of Lane BCA and a pound of Lane One Q from Pipes and Tobacco. It was the cheapest one I could find. It was with the discount, the 20% discount. It was $20 cheaper than with the discount from smoking pipes and tobacco pipes. So, and smoking pipes and tobacco pipes were the same price. So I thought, well, that's good. So, I went and logged in. Now, I order from pipes and tobacco quite a lot. So, I went to log in, and, of course, you know, if you do it on your phone, your iPad, and you do it a lot, it will come up with your email. I just I clicked on it, and it immediately got to the thing. I ordered it, and, um, in fact, I logged in like I normally do. I always email pops up click on it so I was checking on the order last night before I went to bed and it said it was going to be delivered tomorrow which is now today but I looked at it and it was in um, Bartlesville Oklahoma where I used to live and I thought what how can it get from Bartlesville Oklahoma to Wisconsin 
and still be delivered today in the next day. So then I started looking at it and it said it was at it, um, its delivery, it was ready to be delivered. So I thought, oh no. So I went on the um, smokingpipes.com, no, yeah, pipesandtobacco.com, sorry. And when it asked me to log in, I logged in and I couldn't see my order. So I thought, well, I did the same thing where I just clicked on the email. So I went on my email and I found that order and it was through a different email. I've got like three emails. So I went back to that email and here I had the, and I hadn't used that for, I don't know, well, since I lived in Oklahoma, so about four or five years. I had the old address. I thought, oh no, what am I going to do? The tobacco is quite nice. I couldn't tell you what it tastes like. Anyhow, so this morning wasn't feeling well at night, last night. So it was a bit later than I had hoped to, but when I had called, I figured I'd be in hold forever. And they picked up immediately. It was a lady and she was so nice. And I, I said to her, I said, it's 100% my fault. It's out for delivery. I said, is there anything I can do? And she's like, I'll take care of it. And just, within a minute, she um, deactivated all, I had two other accounts for whatever reason. So she deactivated them. And um, she sent me a new um, order, no cost to me. I said, let me at least pay for a shipping. And she's like, no, nope, we're taking care of this. She says, we'll get the tobacco back. Don't worry about it. I mean, she was so nice. The customer service was great. I just wanted to tell you my experience. It was really neat. And again, I said to her, even at the end, I said, she said, is there anything else? And I said, I said, I'm just so overwhelmed. They said, it was 100% my fault. I didn't expect you to do anything you know, to help me. And then she said, she said, I've done that. She said, you know how many people do that? And she said, we get about two different phone calls a day where people have done that. And she said, it's just, it's life. We're not perfect. You have other things on your mind. She said, we accept that. She said, we always end up getting the tobacco back. So she said, I, I'll put into the post office now that um, it needs to be re-delivered. So she said, we'll probably just have to send that um, the person to that address, uh, shipping label to send it back. So if that's, she said, that's like the worst case scenario. So that was really neat. What's my Wednesday night rabbit guys? Hope you guys enjoy yourself. Those that are in this um, line of this terrible storm, keep safe. They already canceled school for tomorrow here. Oh, I'd also like to thank um, Briars, the Briars Report. Got two nice, um, two more nice things from them I write up. Really appreciate it. So, um, thanks guys for watching. 